Good evening, YouTube. Brew by me. Back again. Yes, I am. Gonna do another review tonight. Number four of tonight. Tonight, I'm gonna be reviewing another beer from Brasserie du Ciel. This is La Pienne. It's a blonde ale. 5.5% ABV. And again, the same details as always. The date and all that stuff is right there. Saint Jerome, Quebec. Um, and yes, I did buy it at Brouhaha, two dollars and twenty-nine cents for the bottle. Brew by me, Seabrew, BBBafla.com. Using my Brassard du Ciel glass again, obviously. Drinking a Brassard du Ciel glass beer, so I'll use my uh, Brassard du Ciel glass. So, um, ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast. Uh, another really cool label. As you can see, it's like a, a girl with a hook. And there's a statue there. It's a really cool label. So, without further ado, let's open her up and uh, give her a whirl. Give her a pour. Definitely a blonde ale. Definitely a blonde. <laughs> Nothing at the bottom. Perfect. So, as you can see, kind of a orangey yellow in color. Grasso du Ciel glass. Um, it is cloudy, I can't see through it. There's about a finger ahead. It's a small small to medium bubble. As you can see there. There you go. There you go. It's, it's an off-white head. I uh, can't really see the carbonation, can't really see through it. All I can tell you is it's cloudy. So Without further ado, let's give it a smell. Mm. A slight bit of sweetness, a slight, a slight bit of citrus. A slight bit of uh, like a floral kind of bouquet. But that's about it. There's not too much in the smell, to be honest with you guys and girls. A slight bit of sweetness, some citrus, some floral. Kind of a. It's kind of a slight bit of a, like a bready, biscuity kind of smell there. And that's about it for smell, really. Um, so without further ado, let's dive into her and uh, give her a whirl. Mm. Oh yeah. Fairly light bodied, medium carbonation. A slight bit of se uh, um, uh, sweetness there, uh, followed by a nice citrusy floral kind of uh, bitterness. That citrusy kind of floral bitterness rolls across your tongue, and at the back it, it, it fades, and you're ready for another sip. It's um, fairly sessionable. It is a sessionable beer to be honest with you. Um, you know I can drink these all day no problem. 5.5% ABV. Um, 
fairly sessional beer, fairly light bodied, medium carbonation, nice citrus, floral characters there, a slight bit of maltiness. Um, and, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Um, there's kind of a bready, biscuity kind of taste in that beer as well. Kind of reminds me like of a Belgian blonde ale opposed to like a, a North American blonde ale. So there you have it. I told you what it looked like. I told you what it tasted like. Um, I told you what it smelled like. Um, my row is some uh, Pilsner malt in there, some pale malt, some crystal malt. A very, very, very low love bond crystal malt. Maybe not even. Maybe Carapils. Care of foam, something like that. Um, hop character, something citrusy, yet floral. Um, maybe a centennial. Um, centennial or. Possibly Cascade. That's all I have for you, really. There's some nice lacing on the glass. The head is kind of still there. Um, you know, there's a nice velocity to the head. It's sticking on the glass, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Other than that, there's not much to tell you. It's a pretty fairly simple beer, fairly sessionable, um, easy drinking, some nice uh, flavor characteristics there in the uh, citrusy, floral, sweet, kind of bready, biscuity kind of characters. Um, light bodied, so you can drink this all day. It's a lot more beer, so anyways. YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, please give me a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, keep watching. Till next time, brew by me, out.